President Biden, now President Biden, condemned protests and violence on the far left and the far right before he was president. Why haven't we heard anything directly from him about the riots in Portland and the Pacific Northwest since he was inaugurated? Well, he's taking questions later this afternoon, so perhaps you will. I will say from here uh, that President Biden condemns violence and any violence in the strongest possible terms. Peaceful protests are a cornerstone of our democracy, uh, but smashing windows is not protesting and neither is looting. And actions like these are totally unacceptable, and anyone who committed a crime should be prosecuted to the fullest extent. Our team is, of course, monitoring it very closely. And as he pushes for federal help to businesses affected by COVID, should mm -hmm. we expect to see any kind of federal assistance for these businesses up there that are affected by COVID and riots? Well, again, I think you know his, because we've, so we've had this conversation in here already a few times since I joined the, the team that, um, uh, his focus is on uh, getting the American people through this period of time and pushing forward on a relief package that will get them the assistance they need as it relates to the pandemic and the impact of the pandemic. So I don't have anything more for you on that. And just one more about the announcement you made off the top about the travel restrictions. Mm -hmm. When President Trump was imposing travel restrictions in March specifically on China, then candidate Biden called it xenophobic and fear mongering. So now President Biden is putting travel restrictions on people coming in from other countries. What word do we use to describe that? Well, I don't think that's quite a fair articulation. Uh, the president has been clear that he felt the Muslim ban was xenophobic. He overturned the Muslim ban. Uh, he also, though, has uh, supported, um, and he himself, even before, or we did, I should say, even before he was inaugurated, steps, uh, travel restrictions in order to keep the American people safe, uh, to ensure that uh, we are getting the pandemic under control. That's been part of his policy. But he was critical of the former president for having a policy that was not more comprehensive than travel restrictions. And he conveyed at the time, and more recently, the importance of having a multifaceted approach, mask wearing, vaccine distribution, funding in order to uh, get 100 million shots in the arms of Americans in the first 100 days, not just travel restrictions.